can take a forest and it's going to continue to produce timber. These days the questions we want to ask ourselves are what else can we do with the space between the trees? What else can we do with the land on which the trees are growing? As well as what can we do with the trees? But we're talking about retained conifers where they grow best, allowing quality broadleaves to grow where they grow best, to introduce grazing in such a way that valuable open habitats are not only sustained but made more robust and that they're managed in a way which helps farmers to develop income. It's all those sort of things which is what the Roche is becoming. There are 23 different projects going on under Neroche and, and they aim to cover a whole raft of different topics. We want to get people into the outdoors. We want people to understand the place that's on their doorstep. What we're seeing here is the families connecting better with each other because they're connecting with their landscape and because they are, if you like, being buffered by the softness of the woods. The Black Downs is an incredibly diverse landscape and I think there's a lot to reveal within that diversity. The fact that the project takes in the history elements and the cattle and food and all sorts of different things within it, sort of give it such a wide um, interest that as an artist it's almost impossible not to unleash a huge level of creativity. The hair pass are key to getting people out and about because it links so many of the other parts of the project together. And the modern day interpretation of the word hair path is people's path, which is why the name was adopted for the trails for the Neroche scheme. And it's really a fantastic trail that just gets people out into this area that they might not necessarily visit normally. As well as developing the hair path trails, we've worked on an all ability access trail suitable for wheelchair users. And through another initiative, we've been running a series of health walks to enable people that wouldn't normally get the opportunity to get out and about and explore the area. This group that I work with from Six Acres are more able-bodied, so they're able to go off the beaten track a little more. I think it does them good, it, it challenges them. They engage with it, they enjoy it. <coughs> If the Naroche scheme hadn't got involved, those guys wouldn't have had that walk. It's just allowing people to know that, they're, that these places are there. It's not only people like me who like tramping around and enjoying nature, but they're also people who um, want, want, want other things out of the project. And this is where I think that the history project has been so good because this has meant that people who are not necessarily great outdoor people have been able to get involved, and that's really flourishing. The Roche have made it possible for us to take various groups of children for taster sessions and then for longer sessions of forest school. And then with their funding and their help with the training that we're doing as staff, they're going to enable us to then carry that on with the school and embed it fully in our curriculum so that hopefully every child in the school will end up being able to take part in forest school and none of that would have been possible without the Neuroge input. They look great. Whoa! Come Giving young people an opportunity to achieve and boost their self-esteem can completely change the course of a young person's life. We're making lanterns for Punky Night, which has kind of evolved through a year's work with a storyteller and a musician. And we're going to have a big procession up through the forests as it goes dark with children carrying lanterns. It's just quite exciting doing a different sort of art things within the landscape that makes people look at the landscape in a different way or, or just sort of makes them belong a bit more. If you engage with the imagination and you engage with individuals' creativity, something very different happens. And I, that's what's really exciting and I think that's what makes a difference.
I think what we've done at Naroche is actually to create a, a different basis for taking forward the management of some of our forests in the future. People power, if you like. It meant a lot of things to a lot of people, and it, that's the strength of the project. I can honestly say that I'm very pleased and my enthusiasm is not dimmed at all. Yes, there have been problems that we didn't foresee, but I'm still loving it. I think it's lovely to, you know, let different people have access to the countryside. I do think it's making a difference. I think it's making a difference in a huge amount of different ways as well. The strength of the, the group that run it is the fact that it is a group who represent different interests and who've been prepared to talk and listen to each other. And at the end of the day, it's, it's open and available to, to people to enjoy, both physically, intellectually, how they wish.